What's up guys, Houndish here, and today Zoe returns to Destiny 2 for the 16th of October. So this weekend he's over on Giant Scar on Io, so we'll uh, take a look at that inventory in just a moment. But if you are jumping into Trials this weekend, the map is going to be Javelin 4. And as always, I wish you the best of luck jumping in. Alright, so for Zer's inventory this weekend, the 16th of October, as we draw much closer to Beyond Light, what is he going to have for us? Alright, so actually, for the weapon this week, the Queen Breaker, I don't believe he's ever sold this one. Kind of an unusual one, but uh, now in the world pool for exotics, so technically something he can sell. So kind of new, potentially, if it's one you've never used, definitely I recommend picking it up. We'll take a better look in a moment. But we do have Lucky Raspberry for the Hunters, with a total stat roll of 62, uh, leaning towards resilience and discipline right there. Dune Marchers with a total of 61, uh, pretty high with um, mobility and discipline, but kind of low, kind of low rolls uh, on the most part overall. We've also got Getaway Artist right here, leaning towards recovery and discipline, uh, with a total stat roll of 60. So uh, perhaps not the most exciting, necessarily. But also you can get the Five of Swords right there, or the Invitations of the Nine if you're still working on them, and otherwise use the Exotic Engram for chances of stuff you don't own from the World Pool, pretty much until you own everything. And of course you can get random rolls and all that good stuff. But for the Queen Breaker, the weapon this week, of course it comes with Wire Rifle, and it fires a long-range precision arc bolt that blinds enemies on hit. And of course, this thing's pretty lethal inside of the Crucible. It's had its ups and downs over the years, but definitely a lot of fun if you're into that precision shooting. I'd recommend you try this thing out if you've never used it. But the Lucky Raspberry for the Hunters comes with Probability Matrix, and it increases the chaining capabilities of Arc Bolt Grenade, and has a chance to recharge it each time that it deals damage, and a full chain always recharges it. So actually, a very, very good exotic right there for the Hunters. And maybe that stat roll in particular could be useful for a particular build that you're using, but of course you can get a higher kind of total stat. Now the Dune Marchers for the Titan come with linear actuators, and it increases sprint speed, and sprinting builds up a static charge, and after melee attacking an enemy, that charge will chain damage to nearby enemies. So another very, very good exotic in itself, but with a stat roll of 61, maybe some of those stats could be useful, once again, for particular builds and things like that. But then we've got the Getaway Artist right there for the Warlocks with Dynamic Duo, and you can convert your Arc Grenade into a supercharged Arc Soul, and the Arc Soul functions as an autonomous turret. So also a pretty fun exotic, something to play around with for sure. And of course, that stat roll leaning towards recovery and discipline this week may be of interest. But that's uh, inside of D2, guys. If you happen to be collecting inside of D1 uh, by any chance, this week he does have the ATS-8 Tarantella, a Legacy Leg Engram, the Glass House, as well as the Last Word, and then the Transversive Step. So it might be useful right there. But otherwise, that's everything we have to cover for uh, this weekend. So as always, I hope you found this one useful. And if you have a rating down below, very much helps us out. But also be sure to get subscribed to the channel so I can keep you up to date with the world of Destiny. But otherwise, I hope you guys have an awesome weekend.